Hey guys, CNX is here, back to you with a T versus T video, and as you may have noticed, we are matched with two players from the Protivo Pasa clan. This is one of the most epic battles I've had with the T versus T testing so far, but I'm pretty confident that there will be more epic battles once this mode is finally released to the official version. Now let's begin. So the default game mode is domination where there are two flags. Your only goal is very simple. You're either going to destroy the enemy base or you're gonna want to hold the flag as long as possible until the bar is full and your faction will win. So in this case, I am green and my very goal here is to secure this bottom flag and my ally, which is red, secures the top flag. So in this mode, I actually forgot one very important strategy and that is to start extending building a construction yard so that you are able to camp the flag just like what purple did here managed to extend his base by extending his construction yards and here i failed to notice the construction yard being built which made me um, too late to actually try and contest that so what happened was purple was able to build three bunkers at this flag which of course will lead to them eventually capturing the flag and me losing the objective. So I guess the only thing I can do here is try to do as much damage as possible, destroying the construction yard and probably do a bit of uh, apply a bit of pressure to the enemy. So just like this, the enemy managed to capture the flag. Well, here I am trying to do a bit of damage on their assault vehicle factory since purple is a bit weak as he has spent his resources on those construction yards and trying to build those bunkers just to secure the flag. So we're gonna use this opportunity to destroy some parts of his base using our coyotes. At the same time, here I am trying to um, build a bunch of sniper towers which will hopefully put pressure on the enemy bunkers at the uh, flag since sniper towers outrange the bunkers. Meanwhile, looking at the top flag, for now, the enemy has been trying to um, contest that using fortresses but it is safe but it won't take long before blue actually tries to take that with a bunch of any uh, units such as this one where my ally was actually forced to retreat and now the pressure is on us since the enemy captured both flags the top and the bottom especially bottom since they have a really good grip on the bottom flag since they managed to place three bunkers and a rocket tower there meanwhile top flag is the only vulnerable flag since blue did not prioritize on building bunkers over that area which means there's a big chance that we are able to contest that here uh the enemy cyan has actually managed to build some zeus uh, he actually focused his resources on building ground units at the same time um purple uh, focused his resources on building defenses to make sure that the flag is a bit secure and here my ally yellow decides to support me using his hawks by at least applying pressure to the enemy but unfortunately that is not gonna work since his hawks are just gonna get lost and here comes top flag um, being attacked by multiple hammers and fortresses but my enemy uh, sorry my ally decides to retaliate by attacking them back with um, hawks first trying to soften the enemy army and it will be once again attack using red's army of dragonflies armadillos and riflemen now securing this uh, flag is very important since the enemy has already captured the bottom flag now in order for us to stall the game we need at least one flag on our side so that we can stall the game in the meantime i am preparing my forces and gathering up mammoths in order to siege the enemy base just like this since mammoths are pretty good at dealing with enemy buildings or units at long range despite its slow um, movement speed and fire speed at the same time it's like uh, unlike the torrent where it has very massive damage all right so but at least it has the range so the enemy here decides to retaliate by using their torrents and their zeus some of it overextending and I was able to actually destroy some of his torrents. Now this is where the miscommunication comes in. My ally actually sacrificed his hawks in order to destroy those, which is actually nice. But I was actually planning that, uh, hoping that he would actually use those uh, hawks to, like for example there, use those hawks to actually destroy the vertex since I just realized that I actually did not have any anti-air defense on my units here. So I was forced to retreat. Meanwhile, yellow here is at the center using uh, with a chameleon and two jaguars, which immediately gets destroyed, and he is forced to retreat. So here I am, just doing passive aggressive aggressive movements back and forth, and 
again having vertex problems so i begin to produce mammoths at the same time some porcupines in order to counter this threat at the same time build some anti-air defense towers so that the enemy is forced to sacrifice vertex if he wants to destroy my mammoths and again top is being contested by fortresses typhoons and a bunch of hammers but this time we have the leviathan to the rescue which will hopefully be enough to destroy the enemy army actually it is since it has its ability called the nuke and bam there goes the enemy army destroyed and wiped off the face of the earth and with that we have managed to secure the top flag managing to delay the game even more now for the vertex i did not know why they were attacking the tower instead of the leviathan which would have instantly destroyed it but hey it's fine at least it works now scouting the enemy base we have noticed that there is zeus and here at the mid area, there's a lot of battle going on, especially that CN has now a shield and a bunch of torrents cramped out at the mid area. So they really um, head on or they really want to secure the flags and they, they don't seem to have any intentions of attacking our base. So that seems good for now. My ally is forced to retreat. Meanwhile, here at bottom, I am forced to siege their base, slowly destroying it using my mammoths. Now, the enemy won't have any vertex available since I have a bunch of anti-air prepared. And now, Cyan is actually trying to um, attack my base, uh, my so-called defense area from the, uh, from the middle. And it's very dangerous here since my base is a bit vulnerable. But thank you for the Leviathan nuke. So, <laughs> Leviathan to the rescue, ladies and gents. And with that nuke, the enemy is forced to back off. But unfortunately... The Leviathan has actually been destroyed by the enemy Vertex. And those Hawks came in late. But hey, now the uh, here in this battle, I am forced to retreat since I cannot face the power of the army of two, um, two people, which is Purple and Cyan. Actually, Cyan here, uh, since he is at the bottom, I ordered my teammate to attack his base since his base is has no uh, guardian or has no unit there. And here, I managed to count on a little space, which is bad since it can get easily attacked by torrents. But hey, it, that the it did the job. The enemy did some um, errors in his positioning, and because of that, his Zeus got destroyed easily. And now, I'm just going to chase the enemy off. And Purple is once again trying to build the defense buildings, bunkers, and rocket towers back to the tower. But because my Jaguars were there in time, I was able to successfully destroy it and contest that but since that rocket tower does a big damage so i'm just gonna let my mammoth siege and destroy that instead and i'm going to position my jaguars to protect my mammoths in the meantime my ally red is cleaning up blue's base and eventually um science base is about to get attacked too especially with a red's leviathan doing the charge oh wow there goes science headquarters how unfortunate and at this point, the chances of winning is very high since Blue is finally uh, kicked out of the game. And now we are dealing with uh, the science um, Zeus and Purple's defense buildings here at the bottom part of this map. But hey, they're doing a bit of a cleanup. At this point, it's pretty much GG. Cyan cannot produce any more units since his headquarters is destroyed. And Purple is a bit weak since he has committed his resources to building um, defense buildings here at the flag and now with the chameleon and the power of mammoths and jaguars we are going to clean up their base and at this point it's just a matter of finishing and destroying the buildings that's it guys for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more content see you next is over and out peace